Welcome back everybody, and so we're going to be talking about the alternative Pokemon that you can use to fight Mewtwo. Uh, I made a, little, a list yesterday of the Pokemon that I think would be good, and personally I think that it was a good list. But I'm going to go over some more, uh, and I'm going to go over which Pokemon should you actually power up. The ones with 15 in attack, 15 in defense, or 15 in stamina, and why. So let's go ahead and go get into this, and I'm also I'm going to be using TMs too to switch moves. So uh, let's jump into this, shall we? So let's just go ahead and first of all, let's look at this one, Snorlax, my Totoro. Uh, we're going to change his Zen Headbud back to Lick, so we can prepare for Mewtwo. Now, uh, I don't know if I should change his Body Slam. I think I'm gonna keep that because I, I don't know. Think about it. Uh, Hyper Beam is like 150, so 120. I think it's like 150. Let's check. Oh shoot! I changed that one too. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's 150. I'm pretty sure. So we have a total of 150 here, and Body Slam accumulates very quickly. So maybe I can just keep that one. All right, so let's go ahead and use a TM and get Lick on him. Get that going there. So that'll be the first runner-up. All right, got Lick back. So there we go. Super effective to Mewtwo. Um, now we're going to use some more TMs. But first I want to talk about which one you should um, power up. 15 in attack. Or not necessarily 15, but which, whatever the higher stat is. And I'm just going to tell you straight up how it is for me, okay? Uh, go for the attack. Simple as that. Not only does it make your CP higher when you're fully maxed, when you've maxed it out fully, your CP is going to be higher. Uh, no, granted, this is subject to terms here of whatever you've got. Like, for instance, if you've got 14 or 15 in attack, and the rest are very, very low, you know, the CP is not going to reach its, you know, a very good potential. But for instance, if you have 15 or 14 in attack and the rest are like 12 or 13, that's good. And you're trying to compare it to another Pokemon, you're like, hmm, this doesn't really seem so great. Well, you have to, the IVs have to at least, it has to be 80 to 80 or 90 to 90 or, or close or something like that. But at the end of the day, when you power up a Pokemon with higher attack stat, its CP will be higher. That's just the way it goes. So, for instance, this Gyarados here. I caught this shiny. It is like a 30-something percent or even lower uh, IV. But it's got 14 in attack and the rest are just flat. Almost. So, I didn't power it up. This is its CP, it's decent. It will only reach 29 because its IVs are just not great. But it's got 14 in attack, so its CP is a little bit more lifted up. So there you go, and that's the rundown for me, okay? Uh, please don't take this like, <laughs> I know people are kind of like taking what I'm saying lately a little bit, you know, I don't know what, I don't know. but. Honestly, if you if you want to power up something, make sure it's just if you're 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 indecisive of well, should I power up the defense one or should I power up the attack or stamina one? Attack, that's it, because you, you that's that's you know you're gonna get the max CP. But then again, if you want something that's a, that's defending in a gym uh, and it's got higher defense uh, than than attack, or if you have one a good attack one and you want to just pick one that's going to be the defender, maybe you should go for the defense one, but the, I would personally go for the attack still, okay? So that's just my personal opinion, okay? Personal opinion. So, all right, let's go ahead and talk about more Pokemon that we can use for Mewtwo, all right? So, we went over a pretty good amount yesterday, and I was talking about um, Alakazam. If it has Focus Blast, the Mewtwo, then you know, you're going to be pretty good. And Psycho Cut and Confusion are its quick attacks, and those are not very effective. 
but it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Look at that HP is only 97. That's not really good. So Shadow Ball would be perfect though. You can use an Alakazam Shadow Ball all day. But I, I'm just curious how long will it actually last. <laughs> all right. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into numbers here so we can just get a good view of what we can pick instead of just picking up my tops. All right, let's take a look. This one, I don't think it comes, it doesn't learn any dark. Nope, it doesn't. Um, I'm thinking about Wiggly. Wiggly tough. Uh, you could use, a, all right, so people were kept commenting um, dark type moves. Uh, so if, if it's, if it's going to be like that, I guess you can use your Ninetales with Faint Attack in uh, Overheat. And then we have, there we go, Wiggly Tough. You could use Faint Attack with Play Rough and or Dazzling Gleam or Hyper Beam if you have any of those. Uh, that would probably be a good idea because it's got so much HP, it'll it'll be uh, in the fight for a minute. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, because it's not, I think it's just neutral to them. It's a normal fairy. All right, so uh, let's keep going here. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you, you what, Parasect, Furry Cutter, and x Scissor. Uh, you know, you can use pretty much anything that's super effective. Uh, Venonat, Venomoth, uh, Bug Bite, and Bug Buzz. Okay, that's a 95. Nice. Had that one for a minute, I think. Oh, yeah, since the beginning of this year. Um, so there, those are your options there. All right, now that we can take a look at our canine, uh, you can use Snarl or Bite and um, Foul Play or uh, Crunch. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, do I have a Crunch one? I think I tossed them all. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so Foul Play and uh, Crunch there for our canine, okay? Uh, we already discussed Alakazam. You cannot use a Machamp. Tentacruel is poison type, so it's going to get hurt pretty bad. And, but then again, so are these other ones that we're mentioning as well. And the suggestions too. Um, Gengar, you know, we'll have to see what it can do. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. Uh, if you pull off a few of those dodges, it's got such good DPS. Uh, people are suggesting a wheezing with um, Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Um... Pretty sure just Shadow Ball, that'd, that'd be good. Their Tackle and Shadow Ball. But there you go again, though. You're poisoned, so you're going to be getting hurt with that Quick Attack. Um, you know, so I don't know if you actually want to do that. All right. And uh, we went over Caesar or uh, Scyther, Furry Cutter, and Bug Buzz. But you might as well just go ahead and make a Caesar if you could. All right. And... Pincer is going to be a nice one. These are the ones we discussed yesterday, so I'll just probably keep it on the ones we haven't. Um, let's see if we can find the move set. We did discuss this one yesterday. Oh, there we go. This is 100% IV. Ha! Huh. Bite and Crunch. Uh, I'm not going to power it up because I don't want to power it up right now. <laughs> it's another Gyarados to the list. Um, they're good, but I have my King Carp to help me out here with Hydro Pump, so I'm happy with that one. Um, let's keep on moving and see what we can find here. Check out, this is the Snorlax that you would probably ideally want, is a Lick and Hyper Beam right there. And I was right, 150. Um, yeah, that's a 41 CP, that was a, it was it was funny, it was laughable. Um, I, you know, candies, whatever. <laughs> 40, 43 CP. Oh, brother. All right. Uh, I mean, you could use a Dragonite. Um, the moveset doesn't really matter. Uh, Dragon Tail Outrage, Dragon Breath Hurricane. These are just mine. Dragon Tail Dragon Claw, if you have that beautiful set. Uh, Steel Wing Hurricane. Uh, anything you could think of, I think, would be fine. But probably the best set would uh, maybe Dragon Tail Outrage or... Dragon Tail Hyper Beam, Dragon Tail um, Hurricane. Uh, this is my 100 right here. Dragon Tail Outrage. Optimum. I don't know if I want to keep that name or change it. I'll probably change it up sometime. 
All right, so let's keep moving into Gen 2 now, into the Pokemon I did not discuss yesterday. Uh, you can use Froligator Bite and Crunch if you have a maxed out one. Uh, Froligator is pretty nice. He's got defense, you can take hits, and uh, everything Mewtwo is going to do is not going to be super effective. It's just going to be neutral. So that'd be a good one. I already switched mine up, and I'm not switching it back. Not for this. Uh, see, he agrees. He's like, nah, no, no, no point. Keep me water, boy. All right, now we will. Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, brother. He learns um, Sucker Punch, I think, but you don't want to use a f one of those. All right, so Crobat, there we go. Uh, let's see. This is my 95 or something like that. Uh, 93 here with Shadow Ball. You'd want Bite and Shadow Ball, but here we go again with your Poison, and it's going to be super effective. So I... This is why I did not suggest these yesterday because uh, you're going to go in there and you're going to have to back out and pick your whole team again because you're going to get dis destroyed. Um, so this is why I kept these out yesterday, but uh, I'm going to cover them now because uh, I got a little heat for that. So there you go. Um, Hair Slash and Shadow Ball is what I have, but you're going to want Bite and Shadow Ball. Uh, here's my 100. Pretty nice. Uh, too bad the TMs weren't out back then. I could switch his movesets up, which I'm probably going to definitely keep, keep a Sludge Bomb uh, and probably keep Air Slash as well. That's a beautiful set there. Uh, this is my... Oh, wait a minute. I think I already used TMs on him a while back. Otherwise, I would have kept this. That's why I evolved another one. It got Shadow Ball. Yeah, it was, it was definitely Shadow Ball. All right, so let's keep moving it along here. And see what else we can find. All right. I ominous wind. Uh, yeah. Out to you could probably use him. You know, uh, air slash and ominous wind. Does he learn shadow ball? I don't think so. Uh, future sight. Um, so there's another one to the list if um, we just want to find everything with ghost or dark. But uh, like I said, I wouldn't recommend that. And then we're going to go over the ones that I will actually use, that the ones that I'm going to use. So I'll just tell you which ones I'll use, and then you can probably just uh, use those if you like. So I'm not even going to call them recommendations. <laughs> There's just uh, the Pokemon that I'm going to use. Um, of course, Umbreon. That's the one I mentioned yesterday. That's going to be just uh, perfect. Um, Steelix with, do I have it? Uh, Iron Tail and Crunch will probably be your best bet. Like that, right there. I'm not gonna power him up. Like I said, I'm not gonna power any of these up because I'm already set to go. Um, but you better look out for Focus Blast. Uh, even a Grand Bull. <laughs> All right, so you can use Crunch and Bite set if you have a nice one of those. That would be really good. All right, so let's keep moving along here. Um, you don't want to use a sneeze online. We're gonna cover that. That's just, no. <laughs> um, Houndoom. How? That's the one I. I am personally going to use. Um, and then that's gonna do it. So let's go up. Well, that's not gonna do it. I'm sure there's other ones that you guys can come up with, but I. Um, Gonna use that. Now we're gonna cover the ones I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use him, Reptar. So Tyranitar with Bite and Crunch. Tyranitar with Bite and Stone Edge. Snorlax with Lick and Body Slam. And I think I'm gonna change his moves really quick. Um, I'm just gonna change Extra Sensory. I'm gonna make Dragon Tail. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, what am I doing? That's a charge. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Now let's back out and take a look now. So Tyranitar, Snorlax, Theris, Lugia. Um, and this is not the team I'm gonna pick every time. These are Pokemon I'm gonna rotate around, give them a shot. 
uh, Gyarados with Bite and Hydro Pump. And uh, I even will probably throw in Moltres because its DPS is so good. That's right, Moltres, let them know. That's right. And let's keep going here. Uh, this is my number one that I want to use. My personal uh, pick for myself. Not to recommend it, not recommending it. Just personally picking this one for myself. And if you would like, you could use them too. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Muck with Poison Jab and Dark Pulse. Um, I was I was wondering, can this turn Signal Beam? I think I think that's only Porygon. Uh, I'm gonna use Gengar with Shadow Claw and Sludge Bomb, and another Gengar with Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. Uh, Houndoon with Snarl and Foul Play. Let's take a look at that again. Really nice, really nice Pokemon there. All right. Um, I'm not using Crobat. I'm not. No. I'm using Muck. I know it's weak against the quick attacks Mewtwo has, but it can take hits. So uh, if I'm dodging slightly, uh, I should be okay. So. Yeah, I'm gonna use Muck for sure. And then, I think that's gonna be about it. I mean, you could even use a Ninetales with the Faint Attack, <laughs> if you wanted to. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna be using. Basically, Tyranitar, Lugia, Snorlax, Houndoon, um, Gengar, and Gyarados, Moltres, and depending on how they perform the first battle, we'll have to just see. But it's gonna amazingly be Ty Tyranitar's the, the one you want to go to, and Umbreon. Oh, and Umbreon. Um, let's. Dang, we didn't see that because his CP is too low. I need to power him up some more. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I need to power this up. Like I said, I'm, I don't, I'm not, I can't spend Stardust right now. So that's, it's pretty good. It's at a decent level. And that's going to be on my list as well. And a Dragonite. Of course, the good old Knight. And Tetsuya. So that's my list. That's my recommendations for part two of Mewtwo prep. And which Pokemon you should power up. Um, I know there's going to probably be a few of you who are going to oppose my... Uh, IV power-up suggestion, but uh, you know, that's fine. You know, you have a voice to speak up and say what you have to say, but um, Like I said, I'm, I, I know what I'm doing. I, ch I check the IVs and I see Every time and time again if it's got higher Attack IV the CP is just gonna be better it's Like all the time and I know CP doesn't matter all like 100% but if you want to get your max CP doing it legitly without trying to use the glitch where you go in here and you go and you push your power up and you, you hit the home screen and all that stuff, you know, that pilot mode, and you're not trying to do that, you're trying to play clean, go for higher attack. So with that said, thank you for watching. And if he doesn't have Shadow Ball, this is going to be one of the best not necessarily for damage, but you're gonna be able to stay to stay in the fight a lot longer and uh, He just looks too cool makes me want to Go watch the movie again. Oh, and I highly recommend you guys go watch the um, Legendary bird movie. I, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the Pokemon movie 2000s <laughs> you know, it's Something like that, but it's the one with the legendary birds um, pretty neat uh, fun to watch see how the story goes and I have a Mewtwo theory, still haven't worked on it. I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it, but uh, I, I wanted to make it like all flashy and stuff, but I, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and tell you how it works. I, I'm almost tempted to just tell you right now, but I'm pretty sure this video's gone on long enough. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching and uh, don't worry about those doing all these raids, guys. Yeah. If you've been doing a whole bunch, 
around in your area and you know you've been consistent and you you, you know you're probably going to get your exclusive pass i'm pretty sure niantic's not going to just not give it to very many people they're going to hook us up if you've been paying and you've been not even paying but if you've been doing raids you know and you've been putting in work i'm sure you're going to get your um exclusive it's not going to just be for high levels you know ah and only like people who are just grinding and playing every day um but with that said you know take it easy but make sure you do do raids and you do battle gyms to ensure that you will but don't you don't have to like <sighs> break your neck trying to do it not break your neck but just do it like when they first came out like when the legendaries first came out man it was like don't can't stop won't stop ah, 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 ah. and you just go continuously uh, for, I know for me, I wasn't eating. I was getting pretty bad there. Um, I would eat like once and then just raid and raid and raid and then just nonstop. But anyways, whew, talking so much. All right, take care, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Later. Okay, guys, I have one more suggestion here that I forgot to mention, and I'm just kind of editing this in. Uh, so you want right on with Mud Slap and Mega Horn. That would be another alternative. Uh, you better look out for Focus Blast once again, but uh, at least you're getting uh, a super effective attack with 90 for 90 there. So that's pretty good.